as an adult, when it came time to get a new microwave, I thought, I'm going to start going with Kenmore stuff. I've always loved Sears. So I bought this. This is the Kenmore 73162, I think. I don't know if that 20 means anything. But this is a 1.6 cubic foot, 1100 watt microwave. They also make this in a 1.1 cubic foot, 1000. But this is currently on sale at Sears for $86. Really good deal. It's got a rotating tray. The whole works. And the 1.1 cubic feet, I think, is $79. But let's get it opened up and see what all features this thing has. I make these videos so that people like myself can see what comes in and what features an item has. This comes with the glass, the rotating glass tray and the carousel that it rotates. I'm going to get this foam out of the way, get the microwave out, and we'll take a look at it. Wow, this thing looks really nice for a microwave. I mean, it, uh, the color matches my kitchen trim and kitchen appliances. My new wave matches my new wave perfectly. Kidmore logo right there. Mom's going to be so happy. We have our pressure-sensitive controls here. Look really nice. Uh, interesting note. Quick guide instruments. Well, Spanish there. Quick guide instructions were all that I see that were in the box, unless there's something in here. So let's open the door. You're seeing the inside for the first time as well as me. Good firm click feel there. Okay, we've got some packing there, and there we go. There we see the inside, that 1.6. I mean, look at that. My, my whole arm can, can go in there. Metal inside, by the way, it's a metal frame all around this thing. The front bezel here in the door is covered in plastic, uh, but uh, the rest of the microwave is all metal. I'll give you a tour around it shortly, but let's look at our instructions. See how thick that is. Yeah, pretty good. Nice little Kenmore instruction booklet there, but that's, you know, instructions, right? So let me move this out a little bit and we'll just get a look at the sides in the back. Okay, that's our front that we've already seen. Let me get this turned just a bit so we can see the side here. It's metal, again, metal housing. Uh, these aren't vents, they're just ribs. And the top has a little raised edge on it there. The back, nothing special. I mean, standard microwave stuff, right? We've got our core, got this little protrusion here, as well as some vents. The other side looks exactly the same. Oh, it's solid. It doesn't have those textures on it like the, like the right side does. Whoa, knocked my cart over. That would, that would suck. But there it is. I mean, nice, nice looking microwave. So let me get it plugged up and see how this thing does. Before I plug this thing in and get it going for the first time, I wanted to discuss the dimensions really quick of this microwave uh, because it's not small, but it's not overly large. I mean, I've got it on a little roll around cart here. Fits well. It is 21.7 inches wide. It is 17.8 inches deep. Uh, so the depth, including the protrusion on the back. And it is 12.8 inches high. Now, one thing that I did want to show is even though it is a little deep here, and I mean, as you can see, it's filling up the entire camera, there are actually uh, the feet. So the surface that it's going to actually sit on something with, this is 10.5 inches from center to center on these two feet on the back. Now, if we go to the two feet on the front, can't even really get them all in frame really well. They are 15 and a half inches from center to center on those feet. So you can put it on a considerably smaller base than the actual microwave dimensions are. So let's get it plugged up and see how it does. Everything is plugged up, have the clock set, microwave's ready to go. I did want to point out uh, on opening the microwave, now this is on a wobbly kind of little cart so i'm going to hold the cart but i'm going to use just one thumb and i'm going to press because this was something that's important to me by the way you can see the light on there see that large glass tray it's really really good size uh one thing that was important to me with the microwave was you go into walmart you look at microwaves you pull on the handle and the whole microwave moves 
you press on a button and the entire microwave moves. This does not happen on this microwave. It weighs enough that it keeps itself in place. So it's not constantly sliding around on its surface. Now, the final thing that I wanted to mention, uh, this was something I discovered that I was like, oh no. Okay, I don't know if you can see my plug down there, but the plug comes out, the cord comes out at the top of the microwave. So, sitting on this stand, where my microwave plugs into my outlet at, I, there was just barely enough room. So this is definitely going to not be a move it out very far microwave. But hey, I don't move it a lot. I cook on it, right? So that's the Kenmore model 73162 white 1.6 cubic foot microwave oven. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a great day.